Here is question number 27 on probability and uh, probability distribution. A continuous random variable x has a probability density function given by that, which is to say that for values of x lying between 0 and root 2, the function has, has a value of k over 2 plus x squared. Otherwise, the function has a value of 0. Okay, so this is a restricted uh, distribution. All right. Also, we ha it has been confirmed to us that it is a probability density function, so we know that the area under the graph between 0 and square root of 2 is exactly equal to 1. Okay. So, first part of the question is to find the value of k. Uh, part 2 is to find the probability that uh, x is less than 0 0.5, which is similar to saying that the, prob uh, the probability that x lies between 0 and 0 0.5 and part three is for you to find the median of the distribution, okay? Then part B of the question is to find the expectation. Expectation is just another word for um, the mean of the distribution, okay? So let's see how we go about this question. So what I've done here is uh, I have uh, created a GIF animation to show uh, this particular function, all right? So it has a bell curve like that. And uh, what this is showing is I am varying the value of x, the random variable x, and as I change the value of x, the area, the shaded area, the darker blue part uh, is increasing. So the, the area under the graph represents the probability okay, of the function. So the probability that x lies between zero and whatever is at the bottom here, the value of x that is changing there, that probability is given by the area under the graph. Okay? So this is what we are going to try and find out. Uh, but the first part of the question requires us to find the value of k. So this simulation is just for you to have a general idea of what uh, the problem looks like visually. Okay, so let's go to the first question then. And what does the first question say? The first question requires us to find the value of k. Now, since we, it is confirmed to us that what we have is a probability density function, then we expect that the area under the graph has to be equal to 1, right? For between 0 and root 2. So if we integrate this function between 0 and root 2, what we get must be equal to 1. We will use that fact uh, in, uh, in the process. So let's go, about, uh, let's go on and uh, find this. So as this is a confirmed PDF, probability density function, that is, the integral of the function has to be equal to 1. If we integrate this, in order for us to integrate this, we need to substitute tan. So we would need to say, we would need to let, because this is 2, I need to substitute a square root of 2 tan, this is 2 and this is plus, I need x, I need to make x, so we will let, I have actually written it already somewhere, we will let x be equal to the square root of 2 tangent of theta. So this is a new variable, and if I differentiate this, I get dx by d theta equals root of 2, the derivative of tan theta is sec squared of theta, d theta. So dx by d theta is square root of 2 sec squared of theta. So where there is a delta x, like this one here, I will remove and put square root of 2 sec squared of theta. Where there is x, I'm going to remove and put square root of 2 tan theta. But it is x squared, so this is going to be root 2 squared and tan squared of theta. Okay, uh, let's do that. Well, I can do this quickly here first, uh, so that when I uh, present what I've written down, it makes life easier. So because I'm substituting a, a new variable, I cannot use those uh, limits of integration. So I leave it for now as I make the substitution. So I'll take k out, that k there out, and for dx, which is in the numerator, I will put square root of 2. I can also take the square root of 2 uh, out and have uh, sec squared of theta, d theta. And in the denominator, I'm going to have 2 plus 2 tan squared of theta, okay? I can simplify this. This is k root of 2, integral of, and I can factorize 2 out. That becomes 2. And in the numerator, I'll have uh, sec squared of theta, 
d theta and in the denominator I'm going to have 1 plus tan squared of theta and if you remember trigonometric uh, identities uh, sec squared of theta is the same as 1 plus tan uh, squared of theta so this and this can cancel and I'm left with k root 2 over 2 integral of d theta which is in fact just k root 2 over 2 times theta plus c and then what is left is for me to say here uh, since as you can see here I can say tan make tan theta the subject which is the same as x over root 2 so uh, which means which is to say that theta is arctan also the same as tan inverse of x over root 2 like that and this is what I'm going to put here and then use my uh, limits so let me show you that uh, the way I have done it but effectively this is the calculation that we go through okay so let's uh, let's see that we let x be uh, root 2 tan theta as I said earlier if we do that then by differentiation dx is square root of 2 sec squared of theta we substitute this into the function above uh, being sure not to include the limits because the limits are for x and now we have variable theta in there uh, if we take the k out together with the root 2 here and that 2 out then we are left with uh, this because 1 plus tan squared theta cancels with sec squared of theta so we have this and when you integrate when you simplify that integrate uh, d theta we get theta plus c but we have our limit so the c is not really that important we have to rearrange and have our theta and to do that we make use of our substitution here so tan theta is x over root 2 and so uh, theta is arc tan of x over root 2 if we substitute that in and place our limit 0 to root 2 substitute that in there we end up with that remember that integral is supposed to be equal to 1 so we equate what we get uh, the, uh, the angle whose tangent is 1. When we substitute root 2 in there, we get arctan root 2 over root 2. That's the same as arctan 1. The angle whose tangent is 1 is 45 degrees or pi over 4 radians. And so we have pi over 4. Substitute 0, we get 0, so we ignore the 0 there. If you rearrange to make k the subject of the formula, okay, that's all we have to do now. Well, then k is 8 over pi root 2. We can get rid of the uh, rational, irrational root 2 in the denominator by multiplying up and down uh, numerator and denominator by root 2. And that gives me k as 4 over root 2, uh, 4 times root 2 over pi. So that's the value of k, and that's the answer to the first part of the question. Okay? Uh, the second part of the question wants us to find the probability uh, that x is less than or equal to 0 0.5. That means, what's the prob probability that x lies between 0 and 0 0.5? Now that we know the value of k, uh, the probability that x lies between 0 and 0 0.5 is the integral from 0 to 0 0.5 of our function together with the constant that we already found, okay? So we have a constant there whose value we already know, all right, we just found it. So we will put that there and then just integrate this. You can use your calculator directly if this is paper one in the uh, IB diploma analysis and approaches. Uh, otherwise, if you are an AI student, uh, you have a calculator for paper one and for paper two, so you just substitute this in there directly. If you are an AA student, then other than substitute, uh, using uh, the calculator, we can also directly uh, integrate this by algebraic method. It's not very difficult. Uh, we've already found what this is. So integral of this, entering that into the calculator will give us 0 0.4327 to, to four decimal places, okay? Uh, but we can also use, uh, so that's how this is to say that um, for value of x lying between 0 and 0 0.5, so the value of x here is 0 0.5, the integral or the area under the graph there is going to be 0 0.4327, okay? Uh, the alternative is, of course, to integrate directly. Uh, part three is to find the median of the distribution. Uh, by definition, the median of a distribution is the value of x 
along that axis on the graph. Let me just go back slightly. So given this graph, there is a certain value of x along here for which the area under the graph, this area, is going to be 0 0.5. Okay? So there is a value of x here that splits this total area into two so that the area on this side is a half and the area on the uh, right hand side is also a half. That value of x is the median of the distribution. So our task is to find the median of the distribution. Okay? So by definition, let me just write that down. The median m is the value of x in the interval a, b for which uh, the integral from 0, in our case it is 0, to m is going to be half, is going to be 0 0.5, okay? So to do that, here is the graph and I've put the simulation or the animation again. So we are saying there is a certain value that will make this thing be 0 0.5. We just passed it. What is that value of x? that will make this area be 0 0.5. If we find that value, that is our median. So the median of the distribution is the value of x, which will be up there, for which the area under the graph from the left-hand side is going to be exactly 0 0.5. So we are approaching 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 7, okay, 6, and then there will be 5. So when we get to 5, what's that value of x there? That's what we are looking for. So let's see how we go about this algebraically. So we will say the integral, that's our value of k. So the integral of this from 0 to m of this should give us 0 0.5 or a half. Okay? Uh, we've already done this integral. We found that the integral of this is in fact uh, root 2 over 2 arctan that. So, we just need to substitute this in here, so to replace this with this integral. We just did it in, I think, uh, part uh, one, all right? So, if we substitute that there, that's the yellow part here, is that bit there. So, if we substitute that, and then all we have to do is to make m the subject of the formula. If we rearrange that, then arctan m over root 2 uh, equals, of, of course, root 2 times root 2 is 2, which will cancel with the 2 at the bottom. So we have only 4 and pi there. So pi goes up there and 4 goes down. So we have pi over 8. So arctan m over root 2 is pi over 8. If we make uh, m the subject of the formula, we do that by, uh, by taking tan of both sides. So if we take the tangent of both sides, that means a function and its inverse, we are left with m over root 2. So m over root 2 is going to be tan pi over 8, and so m is going to be uh, root 2 times tan pi over 8, like that. All right? And if you enter that into your calculator, you will get that the value of the median is 0 0.586, and this is to three significant figures. I think I did that with that uh, system. Okay, and it turns out to be 0 0.5858, and I think it's supposed to be, uh, it continues, I think the next term, the next uh, uh, decimal number there is a, a 7. So, in fact, it should be 587, uh, okay, like that. E either way, this is the value of x for which the area under the graph is 0 0.5, and that makes it the median of the distribution. I hope you are able to understand this. Uh, if you have any other question related to it, uh, let me know and we can go through it uh, again together. Uh, you can leave a comment in the comment section and I will be able to follow up on it. All right. Uh, is there another part to this? Yes, there is part B, is to find the expectation of the distribution. The expectation of the distribution is in fact the mean of the distribution. And by definition, we already showed that the mean of the distribution is x, is the integral of x, uh, f of x, right? Like this, right? So our expectation is the integral, in our case, from 0 to root of 2 of x, f of x, dx. So if we do that, okay, so that's our function, remember, now we know the value of k, so that's the function, and we are integrating from 0 to root 2. If we do that, 
this is what we get. You can enter that directly into your calculator and it should be able to give you a value for the expectation. Uh, ignore that first. So if we enter this directly onto the calculator, we get the expectation or the mean to be 0 0.6241 and that is to four decimal places. So GDC, that means uh, I'm using a graphical display calculator. All right. On the other hand, if you didn't have this at your disposal, paper one for uh, a diploma students, AA, then you have to go via uh, uh, algebraic method. In this case, because the denominator is the, uh, uh, the numerator is the derivative of the denominator, we don't need to use tangent substitution, trig substitution. We can simply make the denominator, we let the denominator be u. So we use we make use of uh, u substitution. So let u be two plus x squared. That means the denominator there. Okay. If we do that, then by differentiation, du becomes two x dx like that. And so I can make dx here x dx be equal to du over two like that. Okay. And that means where there is x dx here. There is an x dx here. So where there is an x dx there, I will remove that and put du over 2. And the denominator is just going to be u. Okay. <clears throat> Hope you get that. Right. So if we do that substitution, then I am left with uh, a half du over u, that's the integral. The integral of uh, 1 over u du is ln of u, okay? Uh, and so this becomes our result. We can simplify that and we have that the expectation is 2 root 2 ln 2 over pi. And if you enter that into your calculator, it will give you the same uh, uh, value. So this is what we refer to as the exact value. And this is the approximated value to four decimal places. So if you use a calculator, it will give you a decimal number. The decimal number is not an exact value. So if a question says, uh, leave your answer as exact, then this is what you do, okay? Uh, thank you very much. I think this is the end of this question. So thank you. Uh, let me know uh, if you have any question regarding this particular problem. Uh, leave comments in the comment section and we can go through it again. Uh, otherwise, uh, please share the video widely and consider uh, subscribing to the channel uh, so that when I send any new questions or any new video, you're able to see what's going on. Thank you very much. Thank you.